Hey guys, it's Ryan with My Listing Club. Today I wanted to show you one of the new features that just came out with Elementor. Um, it is Font Awesome Inline SVG. So Elementor is continuing you know, on with their, their big push for performance, which is great for all of us, my listing website owners. Um, so I was working on optimizing the My Listing Club website and um, just thought I would, would check out this, this new experiment they're calling it from Elementor. You know, if you're not familiar with it, there's, uh, they've got these experiments that they have in beta phase or alpha phase, um, depending on how far along they are in development and testing cycle. So be sure to check those out and uh, we will touch on those here, here in this video. Uh, so a couple of things that are gonna be involved in this video are Perf Matters and webpagetest.org. Um, the club has a, a discount for Perf Matters, guide for Perf Matters, uh, an in-depth video on how to use it. And we're briefly gonna look at that here in the back end of the club website in this video. And also there's a guide on how to use, how to test your website, your my listing website for performance using web page test. So um, all of that can be found here under this menu here on the My Listing Club website under My Listing Resources and uh, Partner Deals. Okay, so definitely be sure to check out Perf Matters. It is pretty awesome stuff. Okay, so what we're going to look at specifically in this video is this actual menu icon up here, button, um, and the header of the My Listing Club website. Okay, so we are going to see how that is um, built as far as CSS and you know the assets that are called in the back end. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump back here to the script manager. Oh, here we are using script manager, which is part of Perf Matters. And it just, in short, it allows you to, to kill scripts, JavaScript, CSS on pages, uh, products, post anywhere on your website where they don't absolutely need to look. Okay. So that's a brief overview of, of script manager. Okay. So we get there by, um, invoking script manager on our homepage. And here we are in the Elementor section. And if we scroll down at the bottom of the section, we see two files, Elementor icon shared. O and Elementor Icons, FA Solid, FA is Bond Awesome. Okay, so in testing here, if we turn off the share, this shared one first to test, and then we refresh our page, we see that the icon for that button completely goes away. So if we jump back over here, and we turn that back on, but okay, let's say, how about this one? Can we, can we safely disable this one? Let's go back and refresh. So our icon is partially back, but, it, but it's still broken. So we, we jump back here, we toggle this back on. There we go. So. We see that just to load that one icon, we have to call two CSS files. One of them is pretty beefy in size. Another really important factor is that CSS is render blocking, meaning it must load before all of the other assets on your page load. So we are make, here we are making two render blocking calls to two CSS files. And again, one of them is decent size. But as important as the size is the, the, the quantity, which is two. So we got to make those two calls before we can get to anything else rendering on the page. Okay. And we see that when we jump over here to our, our test, I've already ran a test. This, please keep in mind, this is the staging site for the My Listing Club. So don't be like, Ryan doesn't know how to optimize sites. He's getting an F, blah, 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 blah. It's, it's staging. Okay. It's not optimized. All right, so if we scroll on down here on line 24, 24 here and 25, 
we see those two CSS files loading, okay? So that's what I mean by render blocking. All of these CSS files here at the top have to load before everything else on the page loads. So we wanna to try to eliminate as much as we can from this top section here, um, from the render blocking section, speed everything up, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this page so we can run the test again. Okay, so let's see where I'm at here. Um, okay, so let's look at the Elementor experiment that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. If we jump over here to Elementor settings and we go to experiments, we see a new one added right here, font awesome inline. We wanna to toggle that onto active. Maybe the default is actually on too, but anyway, so we'll, just, we'll mark it to active and we will say changes. 